Next, a drill recognition operation is defined to perform drilling of all the holes through the prismatic part. Even though their depths exist on different Z levels, as you can see here. In the Solid Cam Manager, right click the Operations header and choose Drill Recognition from the Add Milling Operations submenu. The Drill Recognition Operation dialog box is displayed. This operation performs powerful drill feature recognition and automatic drill geometry creation using the Solid Cam Automatic Feature Recognition and Machining Module functionality. It enables you to handle separate sets of milling levels for each drill position. The initial values of the milling level sets are automatically recognized from the model, which can then be edited if necessary. On the geometry page, click the new button to define the drill recognition geometry for the operation. The HR drill geometry selection dialog box is displayed. The geometry is automatically recognized on the target model. Therefore, when using this operation type, the target model must be defined in the CAM part before you define the operation. For the filter options, activate the hole diameter section and place your cursor in the from field by clicking it. Then in the SOLIDWORKS graphics area, pick on any of the holes as shown. As you can see, 3.2 millimeters is entered for both the from and to diameter parameters. In the Options section, leave the radio button set to Auto. This option enables you to perform the holes recognition automatically in accordance with the specified filtering criteria. Click the Find Holes button. The hole recognition is performed in the direction parallel to the z-axis of the current coordinate system. All the holes are recognized, and the drill geometry is created. Located at the bottom of the HR Drill Geometry Selection dialog box is the Holes Tree List, which displays the hole features included in the geometry for the operation. The hole features are classified into shapes and groups. A shape contains all the hole features with the same topology. Within a shape, a group includes all the hole features with the same dimensions. If you click the Preview button, the current drill geometry based on the selected items in the holes tree list and the initial machining sequence is displayed in the SOLIDWORKS window. To return to the geometry definition, click the Resume button. To confirm the drill geometry and exit the HR Drill Geometry Selection dialog box, click OK. Switch to the Tool page and click the Select button to display the part tool table. From the list, choose Tool number 5 the 3.2 millimeter drill. Click the Select button to exit the Part Tool table. Switch to the Levels page. Like any other operation, this page enables you to specify the Z levels at which the tool movements are executed. It is important to note that the depth-related parameters are automatically defined for each drill feature separately. This functionality enables you to perform the machining of several identical holes with different depths and located at different Z levels in a single operation. Click the Depth Edit button to display the Depth Edit dialog box. This dialog box enables you to edit the depth-related parameters for the chosen drill features. The default parameters should be used for groups 1 and 3. For group 2, however, the depth type should be modified since they are a group of through holes. Select Group 2 in the Holes Tree list and set the depth type option to Full Diameter. Click the Apply button to apply the change. Click OK to confirm the changes and exit the Depth Edit dialog box. Switch to the Technology page to define the technological parameters of the drill recognition machining. Like any other drilling operation, Default is used for sorting, and the standard drilling method of G81 is used for the drill cycle type. At this point, the operation can be calculated, and the toolpath can be viewed on the model. Click the Save and Calculate button to add the drill recognition operation to the cam tree and calculate the toolpath. Then, click the Simulate button. After the simulation control panel is displayed, Go to the Solid Cam Manager and, holding down the control key, 
Also select the previous drilling operation so that both operations run during playback. Select your desired simulation speed using the slider, and then click the Operation Step Mode button to play the simulation for the previous drilling operation. The tool approaches and performs machining of the countersinks. Click the Operation Step Mode button again to play the simulation for the drill recognition operation. The next tool approaches and performs drilling of all the hole features automatically defined for the operation. Now that the CAM part has been fully programmed using iMachining 3D, as well as the 2.5D milling and feature recognition modules for finishing, simulate the toolpath for the entire CAM project using the HostCAD mode. First, switch to the HostCAD tab. Then, click the Operations header in the SolidCAM Manager to run the simulation in its entirety. Click the Play button. The simulation runs from beginning to end and displays the toolpath as a wireframe. iMachining 3D, 2.5D, and feature recognition strategies are used to perform the machining of the prismatic part. Using the exit button, close the simulation control panel. For more information regarding this operation type, refer to the SolidCAM milling help. Close the drill recognition operation dialog box with the exit button. At this stage, step five is complete and the exercise has come to an end. To close the CAM part, right-click the CAM part header in the Solid Cam Manager and choose Close from the menu. If you have not followed along, apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to define the machining of the holes through the prismatic part. Congratulations. The iMachining 3D exercises are now finished, and you have completed the interactive one-day training course for iMachining.